Hi, it's Lou Brown. You know, I've been buying, holding and selling property now for over 40 years. And one of the things I've done is worked with real estate agents who have brought me deals and I thank them. I thank them so much for their efforts because many times they are bringing me wonderful deals where I'm making a beautiful spread and they're just happy, happy, happy that they're making their commission. And I look at that and I say, have you ever thought about being the investor? Have you ever thought about getting the tools, the training, the technology and the team to actually being the person that I am? And you know, one of the things that was a very telling thing for me is I looked at a closing statement and on that closing statement down here at the bottom, of course, it said net to seller, right? Proceeds to seller. And then on the closing statement, it had the amount that the real estate agent was making. And it was literally a fraction of what we were making on the deal. And I thought, you know, if I open the door and maybe awaken real estate agents, then maybe I can give them a new future, a new way of looking at your life. Because as if you actually step back from the transactions and maybe you're one of the people that have helped other people with getting those kind of properties. Now, if you think about it, a traditional real estate agent, if they were thinking about their own account would go ahead and buy that property, they would purchase it and then put it out for rental. And you can do that through the MLS, of course, and you can be the property manager on that. Maybe you're property managing for other people as well. And so you make that differential between your cost of funds, the amount that you're purchasing the property for, and maybe you went to the bank and qualified for a loan versus what you rent it out for. And that spread, sometimes that's a pretty tight little spread, but it sets you up for a future. It sets you up for a retirement account, which is something that, 1099 real estate agents don't have, right? There is no retirement account that comes with being a, a independent contractor entrepreneur, right? We, we eat what we kill, right? So, so it's a whole different world as a real estate agent slash investor. So imagine that you use the tools and the training that you've got as an agent. And now we take it one more step simply, buying the houses right, buying them cheap, but we add some twists to it. For example, one of the ways that I buy properties is I call it the seller is the bank, right? So the way I'm able to structure it, working directly with the seller is to go through a presentation process that we do. And in that presentation, we also do what's called a cost to sell worksheet. Now as an agent, you're probably familiar with that. However, our cost to sell worksheet is significantly different than a traditional real estate agent. So when we get down to the final number, if the seller is happy with that, we're good. We tell them, congratulations, we will buy your house. And if they don't like the number, we've got adjustments right on there that allow me to go back on that cost to sell worksheet and say, see this amount of money here that I was going to give to someone else, which is called a hard money lender in order to buy your house for cash. I would like to give you that money. And that means that I'm just going to pay you the differential between what your existing mortgage is, I'm going to go ahead and take over those payments on your existing mortgage and then give you that differential back. And that means that I'm going to be able to increase my offer price. Now, this is a process that I teach you in one of my classes, but the, the cool thing is, and I give you the tools to do it with as well. So you've got what you need and I'm going to train you on the step-by-step -step process and procedure to do this. But what's really cool is that you as a real estate agent, you have another arrow in your quiver. You have another solution that you can bring to the table. And as you know, many times listings don't come easily, right? You might be competing with other agents. You might be doing some, additional marketing, additional expenses, some certain incentives to get people to list with you over other people. Well, the incentive that I suggest that you bring to the table is you 
come to your listing appointment and you say, congratulations, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, your house is sold today. And they go, what do you mean? And you say, well, what I'm going to do is make a presentation to you right now. And if that works for you, our company is actually going to purchase your home. And if that doesn't work for you, not a problem. We're going to put it out on the uh, market and we're going to see what the market says. How does that sound? Fantastic. I'm going to go into my presentation right now. And I'm going to teach you that whole process, by the way, that presentation process. But now you have opened the door to a complete solution for that seller and for yourself. Because one of the other things that we do is when we put our properties out on the market, we actually offer them on what we call the path to home ownership. Now the path to home ownership is different than a landlord would do. So a landlord would put the property out as a rental. And of course, when we put a property out as a rental, what do we attract? We attract people with a renter's mentality, right? And so the renter's mentality is you might not get that property back in the same condition that you gave it to those people in. In fact, you probably won't get it back in the same condition. You're probably going to have to do days and weeks, maybe even months of repairs and work to the property before you put it back out again. That's not what we do. We offer the property as is in the marketplace and we give people the opportunity to purchase that home as is. We act as the bank for them. And as a result, we give them credit towards the down payment for the items that they agree to do. Then that's our work for credit program. And it's very attractive and we're able to attract the right people with the right down payments, with the right skill sets to do what we need them to do. And it is a fun process. We really enjoy it. And the thing that you can do is take what you already know, the skills, the resources you already have. And now you can say, Hey, I'm going to do one more thing now, but I'm not going to burden myself with, property management. And I'm not going to assign myself being a landlord. I'm going to change that model completely. And I'm going to do something different. I'm going to offer it on the path to home ownership. Now, what I suggest is that you become a certified affordable housing provider. Now that's another thing that you bring to the market, another skill that you bring to the table, another distinction of you against a different kind of real estate agent. You can do something more. And also it's who you are in the community. You in the community is not just helping people to sell their houses or not just helping somebody with a credit to be able to buy a house. No, you're bringing something to the community to help everyone in the community with their desires, with their dreams, with their visions for their life, because all those people you've been throwing away in the past as a real estate agent, all those people that you've been saying, now you go and get good credit. And when you get good credit, come back and see me. No, that's a whole different distinction. We say, come on, baby, I got something for you. And these are the people that have down payment money. They have income, but they don't look good to the banks and the banks don't love them. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to teach you how you are going to love those people and how they are going to love you as well, because you're doing something for them that nobody else can do. Another distinction of being a real estate agent. So I would say congratulations, first of all, for making the decision to get into our wonderful world of real estate. Number two, congratulations for becoming a real estate agent or a broker. Number three, it's time to take your business to another level. And one of the distinctions and concerns that you should have is your retirement, that you have a dependable, predictable monthly income. And the model I just laid out for you absolutely works. It is an awesome thing. Many, about 60 some percent of the people that learn from me are licensed agents. And so I strongly encourage you to get into our world, strongly encourage you to check me out and check out certifiedaffordablehousingprovider.com, certifiedaffordablehousingprovider.com and 
Call our number 1-800-578-8580. Get registered for my next Wealth Builder Workshop. Let me show you how we take title to properties. First of all, how we resource our buyers in the first place. We actually find people that have down payment money that have good income, but maybe less than perfect credit. And then we show them the type of property that they are saying that they want. Now you, because you're attached to the MLS, you have the ability to go in there and pull out properties that can work. And I teach you that whole process as well. And then we make a presentation directly to the seller. And yes, you're going to do that with the cooperation of the listing agent. So this all works for properties that are in the MLS right now. And now I'm going to teach you other ways that you can find deals that are not in the MLS. We call them stealth deals, deals that nobody else knows about, no competition deals. And these are not for listing purposes. These are for buying purposes. So I'm going to teach you that process, but definitely check us out. And I look forward to seeing you at my next Wealth Builder Workshop or my next Millionaire Jumpstart event. Look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, baby.